So it's time for a one day build and uh, today we're going to be building a time management app and I thought I'd use the Flutter framework to build it. My idea is that I'll be making some of these videos where I attempt to build something during the span of one day and I want to mention that this is not meant as a tutorial and I'm not an expert at this so I'm basically learning as I go along and I'll probably be making a lot of mistakes and if and when I do please feel free to comment and share how this could be done better. I think this would be nothing but good because then other people can learn from it as well as me. I hope this will be somewhat entertaining. Anyway, let's get started. So the app that we're building today, I'm really excited to build and uh, it's going to be an app that kind of will display a visual representation of uh, each day as like a circle or a pie chart. So basically how I see my days is as a circle. In the app this will be a uh, pie chart and you'll be able to divide or let's say that you want to do task one which is work uh, from six till nine. Then this will automatically add this to the pie chart and you will have a block of time here um, represented in some color and let's say you want to work out 10 till 12 it will fill this in automatically into the graph and uh, that will be a different color and then I want you to be able to have repeating tasks so maybe you do you work out from 10 till 12 every um, every day and then it'll repeat uh, this block of time will be selected every day for working out. So that's the idea of the app. And um, now I'm going to do just write out some requirements and uh, start thinking about what classes I'm going to need. All right. So the first thing that I'll do is just create the folder where I'll keep my app. Alright, once I've done this, I will start a GitHub repository and I will publish all the code here. So if you want to have a look and uh, try it yourself, you can. And yesterday I wrote up some quick uh, requirements for the app. I didn't spend a lot of time looking at all the different requirements and I think I'm going to probably come up with some new ones. Uh, while I'm building it, but this is gonna be the basic layout or idea of the app uh, But we'll start out with this and now I need to figure out how to get a flutter project started All right, so I think we've got it all started All right, so now we have the uh, Flutter demo uh, app or the first app that you get which is just a counter app and um, yeah now it's time to get started with actually building out the real app so now what I like to do is just create uh, folders for the different classes that I need and um, basically I only need one class so I'll make a folder um. Okay, so now I've basically implemented the first the first implementation of the task class and uh, then the occurrence class is done as well and I also decided to add a user class that has a list of all the tasks which will be like the main place where we add and uh, create new tasks and now I think I can start to actually build some of the UI to try to start to make simple uh, versions of adding tasks and uh, removing tasks. All right, so now I've built out basically the very, very basic um, 
implementation of adding a task. And uh, if we run it and I type in a name of a task, let's say uh, work, and then I press add, it should print the name of the task, which it does here. Alright, so this is the absolute basic layout of um, what I'm thinking it's going to look like when you create a task. I wanted to be able to get a kind of overview of what I need to add to the screen. I thought I'd tell you kind of how I look at this and how it works with Flutter. The whole thing is going to be basically columns, so what I'm thinking is that this is going to be one column and uh, this is going to be the second column and this is the third column and um, then within the first column so this will be a container and then it will have basically rows and each row will have a container so basically this is one row second row third row and then that row in itself has a column which is the first column will be the text monday and then the second column will have the yeah the box to tick and same thing for the next one same for the next one and uh, then for this column we have um, another column inside this yeah one column inside this and the top column will have probably i don't know two rows or something where uh, i'll put time as the title and then this will be a column this will be a column. This then is a row that has the from and then the time picker of some sort. I've, I don't know exactly what I'll use for the time picker. Same thing here. And then this is just a button. So this basically makes it so that I can see what I, what I need to build and um, it'll make it a bit easier when I start to actually build it out. Okay, so now I've basically got the uh, implementation for uh, creating the, the task. So basically here you can select uh, which days this happens. So let's say you work on Mondays and Wednesdays and you start at uh, 9 a.m. And then you pick the end time, and let's say that is 12 uh, p.m. Okay, when you press create task, here it prints what days. So these are the days that you work, Monday, Wednesday, and from 9 until 12. So I think I uh, may have actually managed to get it to work now. And um, all right, so now it's completely blue and this is representative of a uh, of 24 hours. And uh, let's say we add work. And then we create task. And now, voila. So this is now gonna be work. And uh, this part is free time. And then we, I think we can add another task as well. So let's say study. And we create task. All right, so this is the, this is the first graph. Um, now the next thing is to figure out how to display every day. I think I like the full representation when you see the entire, like the full screen is filled up with it. 
so I think I'm going to make like one page where you can see um, seven days displayed and then if you press one of the days then it will pop over to another view where you'll see just this day and maybe a list of all the tasks. Alright, so this works. I just uh, tried it out and now if I add a task, um, study, and we'll say that we study on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and we start at 6 a.m. Okay, and then we end at 9 a.m. Then this should basically add this to the to the already existing pie charts. Yeah, it did. I, I think it did. Oh, I think I maybe didn't add it. Okay. Yeah, it did. It worked, but I didn't add anything on a already existing day. Let's just say and add it on Monday. Start at ten, six. Till eight. Yeah, so it, it added it to the to the Monday chart. So that works. And um, now I just need to add the Saturday or Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alright, so what we have left to do is basically we need to make sure that these all of these diagrams are buttons so that when you press one of them uh, you get to a new screen that displays the um, that is this so it displays the specific day and the graph for that day and then a list of all the tasks that you have on for that day and now if we press Monday we get a view of that day in more detail and now what we have left to do is we need to add a list underneath here with all the tasks and um, yeah so basically what I'll do is I'll here I'll implement some sort of list view Alright, so it's coming together slowly. Um, now, now we've added the titles, uh, work, so that's the title of the task, and then the time, so from uh, 5.22 to 19.22, and um, then the total time that's spent doing this thing, so that's two hours. Yeah, and then you can just add, keep adding new tasks, so it's, So you can see, oh, okay, four hours spent um, studying and uh, two hours spent working. All right, so uh, it is now eight o'clock at night and uh, I've been sitting since about seven this morning. So uh, as you can see up here, it's been 11 hours and 10 minutes. And uh, this is how far I've gotten. Uh, you can see the layout with the days and you can add tasks uh, You can select what day you want to add the task and start time and an end time And then it'll show up here and then if you press here you can see the day and then you can also delete the task the 
I think that's enough for today because I am about to fall asleep. So I didn't get it done in one day, but tomorrow I'll come back to you and uh, finish it off and uh, we'll show you the result. All right, so it's the second day and um, last night I spent some time working on uh, sorting all the tasks out so that it would uh, not only display the tasks but also the breaks between the tasks. So for instance if we look here we can see that uh, this white part would be uh, work from 9 till 4 and then this part here is the workout from 6 a.m. till 8 and then this part in between those two is the break so the 8 till 9 break um, which it now displays now I think I'll call it a day here because this was supposed to be a one day build and uh, basically this is how far I got and um, I think I'll keep working on it and maybe make another video where I add some more features like um, I would like to add times here so that you can see um, like this is 12 o'clock, uh, 6 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock and whatever so you can kind of get a grasp of where uh, all the tasks are happening and also like color coded so that you know like okay work is um, green and study is blue and um, yeah, so that all the tasks are kind of separated because now they're just different shades of blue. So it's hard to tell which one is which. Also, it would be good if you could click uh, on, the, on the piece of the pie chart and it would display the name of uh, the task and all that stuff. All right, so this is the final product and I'm quite happy with it considering I got it built in 14 hours. And there's a lot of improvements that could be made, but basically this is what I got done in one day. So that's it for my first one day build. And uh, if there's something that you would like to see me build in the future, then leave a comment and uh, maybe that could be my next one day build.